Hey there everyone, it's Joe and Michael from Bullion Now, bullionnow.com.au Selling in the best bullion bars and coins shipped here worldwide from Melbourne in Australia. This is uh, an addendum, I guess, to our incredibly popular uh, fake versus mm. real Perth Mint Gold Bar video, yep. uh, which is just, it's just on rotation. Which on, we're going to attach a link here or here or... Uh, that one on the, that one. Yep, right that there, one? the first one right there. <laughs> so what are we talking about? We're talking about uh, another way to tell uh, fake versus real Perth Mint Gold minted bars in particular. Minted bars. So yep. let's talk about it. So we've got the real one here, if you like. In fact, these are both real ones, but Thanks. this one's led a bit of a hard life by the look of it. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the things that Joe and I talk about, and Joe keeps correcting me because I call them tamper proof, and they're not, they're actually tamper evident. Tamper evident, um, yep. Bars, and, and a lot of people like buying them in this presentation for that reason, mm -hmm. in that you can tell if somebody has played around with the gold bar at all, whether they've tried to replace it with something, mm -hmm. whether they've tried to, you know, scratch a little bit off it, so you're not actually getting the full, in this case, 20 grams, you might be getting 19.8 grams, or all those sorts of things. And people say, well, it's all well and good to say that, but how do I know that it's been tampered with? And we can see here, this is just a standard one. If I flip it over, you can see it's got, oh, look at the number on it. It's almost a oh, radar number. That's a cool <laughs> number. So okay. it's still got the serial number. It's still all contained inside its beautiful little box. It does have, and I possibly should have pointed this out before, it's still got its little um, screen protector on it. Now, now when you when you say that, what do you mean? Because some um, people won't know what you're talking about. So when you buy a new phone or a new watch or that sort of stuff, it has a bit of clear plastic over it that you peel off and throw away. Yep. These, and I can't do it in a glove, but these also have a bit of plastic on them that you can peel away and it just protects the surface of it while it's in transit. And, and it's on and both sides, sort of right? It is on both sides, yeah. yeah. So that's actually probably why you'll pick slightly different toning. Yeah, you um, can see a slight difference in the contrast, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Um, but if we flip over to the back, which is where this will start um, showing itself, um, you can see here that this is all sealed. It doesn't appear any different than, than what you'd expect. Um, in a real or a fake. Mm -hmm. However, if you do what this uh, person did with this one, where they actually opened it up, and at the end of the day, they bought the bar, they can do whatever they like with they it. Do it's, whatever you know, they it's, want. It's theirs, yeah. and it's actually been really good for us because I've been meaning to do this type of video for quite a while. Mm -hmm. If it gets tampered with, in this case, it's been opened, and this one's a bit dramatic, but even if it was only slightly tampered with, what you'd find is that A, it comes apart, but B, this void wording becomes yep. evident and in fact if I lift this, I don't know if it'll show on camera, you'll actually see the rest of the... I don't think I can get it to do it but... I don't know if you need a glove this time do you? Oh well, I was just doing it just in case. <laughs> um, so you'll actually see this this void word, yep. it's actually imprinted in there, you just can't see it because of the black. Yep. Once it lifts off the black it actually becomes evident so even if there's very small damage to this packaging it comes up as void so you know that the product that you've got in front of you has been tampered with in some mm -hmm. form. Mm -hmm. Now we know this one was fully tested. Um, it tested on the XRF as four nines. Um, so it's, we know it's pure gold, all that sort of stuff. Yeah. And the gentleman that owned it just wanted to hold his gold. It's fair enough. Fair enough. You know, I, I actually, I prefer the, uh, the cast bars because I can touch the gold. I'm tactile. I like that sort of stuff. Yeah. And some people prefer this. Yep. That's great. He's bought one of these and then he's opened it up. But it just goes to show, and what we really wanted to highlight here was the fact that with these tamper evident, you can really tell with the real ones. Yes. If you see one that's slightly damaged or open and it doesn't say void on it, the chances are you're dealing with a fake. Absolutely. Of some kind. Yeah. With a real one, you'd expect to see the fact that it's got void written on it. So the tamper side of it no longer counts, but you can be fairly sure that the bar inside is probably going to be real. It just may be scratched or tampered with in some way. Okay, fantastic. Well, All right. what else do they need to know? Anything else in, in particular? No, that's probably about it. All right. Well, of course, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, for more of this kind of, I guess we call it, educational yeah. why not educational videos you've got to subscribe to the channel uh, youtube.com slash bully now hit the big red subscribe button join the family because we are the winning team apparently <laughs> <laughs> that's it from me and from me too we'll see you soon see ya